Now we start getting into the irreversible changes. Time to salute our poor little cell goodbye. The first major irreversible change is a buildup in calcium. So just like there's a sodium potassium ATPase pump, there's also a calcium ATPase pump that requires ATP. Normally pumps out calcium, it can't work anymore. Calcium therefore builds up. What's the problem with that? Calcium is a potent stimulator of all kinds of degradative enzymes within the cell. Oh no, it's just gonna cause so much more destruction and damage to this poor cell. So enzymes that will tear up the, the membrane and, and the nuclear membrane and organelle membranes, like even lysosomal membranes, the contents leak out and destroy things. That's just no good at all. So the nucleus, like I said, will will be degraded and there will be, what's this called, like fragmenting of the nucleus, karyorexis, and there will be karyolysis, further destruction of the nucleus, and, and eventually nuclear pycnosis, where it just shrinks down into nothing, basically. Oh, that, that's so sad. Oh, man, I feel for this cell. Eventually, some of the organelles, like I said, will lose their membranes. If the mitochondria loses its membrane, what's within that that gets released? Cytochrome C, remember that from apoptosis? Yeah, that'll go and activate caspases, which will then go degrade even more things. So just everything's going to get destroyed. Eventually, once the cell loses its phospholipid bilayer, its membrane, that is the last straw. The cell is toast when all of its contents just leak out. Such a sad tale. So that's why you, you've got to take your oxygen, kids.